Hi, HPCA. I'm excited to see you again. I've missed you. Today, this lesson is mostly for middle school, but my younger friends can try it too. I think maybe fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. This might be a good project for you. We are going to do a pencil drawing. So all you're going to need is a regular pencil. I don't want you using a mechanical pencil for this one. The regular old pencils are best. And you just need white photocopy paper. We are going to do a drawing of an object that has been pierced through paper. So it's all pencil, and we're especially going to focus on value. Value is how dark or how light something is. So all we're using is pencil, but all of this is done by pressing really hard and really light and looking at shadows. So in order to do this project, you're going to have to find an object. Whoop, I lost my pencil, hold on. <laughs> So what I did is I cut a piece of paper. I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. So you're gonna take a paper like this. You can, you're not really gonna fold it. You're just gonna gently bend it. You're gonna do two little cuts. Okay. And you're gonna stick an object through those two cuts. You might wanna sort of fold it back the other way to undo that little fold. And then you're gonna slide an object through it. Slide that pencil in there, it might tear a little bit, that's okay. So there we go, so there's my pencil. And you're going to look at this when you do your drawing. You need to see what you're drawing. You can't just make this up from your head. You have to look at how it actually looks in real life. So the best kind of objects are things that are found in your house and they should be long and thin. So a pencil is a great one. You could do, um, there we go. I have a, a Q-tip is a really good one. Um, you could do a safety pin. You can see how that's in there. Now this is teeny tiny, but when you draw it, you're gonna make it a lot bigger. That's way too small. Um, and if you're up for a challenge, some of my friends that really love art challenges, you could do a spoon. This one's really tricky because you have to show all of the reflections in the spoon. So right now you should go find your object, Carefully cut the little lines, slide your object through, and the best place in your house to do this is near a window, or if you don't have a window nearby your table, um, just have one light. If you have lights coming from all different directions, it makes the shadows really crazy. It's a lot easier if you just have one light source so you can see the shadows more easily. The first thing you should do is practice making a value scale. When you do the value scale, you wanna practice being as light as possible with your pencil, all the way down as dark as possible, and you want it to blend. You don't wanna see a sharp edge where suddenly it's light and suddenly it's dark. One of the tricks to do that is by making your pencil go opposite directions from each other, and we call that cross hatching. So after you've practiced your value scale, you can actually start drawing your object. Press really lightly because you might need to erase later. And it's okay if it's not exactly the same size as your original. I'm gonna make this Q-tip a little bit bigger. I'm pressing really, really lightly because I'm going to have to erase part of this. Also, friends, you know I don't like you to use rulers. Try your best to draw any straight lines by hand. But I'm not there to catch you, so if you really wanna use a ruler, I can't stop you. All right, so there's the basic shape of my Q-tip, okay? Then I'm gonna figure out where those cuts are. This is, it's not right in the middle, it's a little bit farther up. There. And let's say right there. Okay, now the reason we press really lightly is because we have to erase there. We don't want any evidence of those lines that we originally had. Really erase that well. 
right now you've got to start paying attention to what are the lightest areas and what are the darkest areas well obviously this cut is super duper dark um, here we can see there's the other cut there's a pretty dark shadow over on this side of the q-tip um, there's it's pretty dark on the paper actually the paper seems if you look up here the paper seems darker than the q-tip itself also the q-tip is round so this side of the q-tip is lighter and this side is darker because it's in the shadow so pay really close attention to that when you do your drawing also pay attention to the way the light hits this um, part of the paper the reason we can tell that the paper is curved is because this side is lighter this side is darker because it, it's a 3D object and the light and the way that we color the light and the value is what helps it to look three-dimensional. Try your best, take your time. Um, if you don't like your first one, do another one. You saw at the end how I blended here. This is because I wanted the paper to look smooth, but I didn't blend these edges. I wanted some of the, these edges to stay very sharp. So some of you might just wanna blend the whole thing. Don't do that. It's gonna kind of ruin it and make it all look smushy and mushy and weird. Try your best, send me an email of what you came up with when it's done. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Bye, everybody.